Bettersizer 2600 Laser Particle Size Analyzer Installation and Commission Video Installation and Commission Unpacking Open the instrument package and take out the instrument and accessories. Place them in order. Then check the spare parts according to the packing list. Connecting the circulating tubes, take two circulating tubes, one connects from the water inlet port on the front of the instrument to the water outlet port on the left side of the BT802, the other tube connects from the water outlet port on the front of the instrument to the return water port on the left side of the BT802. Both tubes must be connected firmly. Connecting the inlet and outlet tubes, take a big drain tube and insert one end to the drain port on the right side of the BT802, cut appropriate length, and place the other end in an empty bucket. The recommended length is that the tube end is right above the bucket. Take the smaller water inlet tube, insert one end to the water inlet on the right side of the BT802, cut appropriate length, insert the anti-blocking nozzle on the other end, and place it in a bucket with water inside. The appropriate length of the water inlet tube is about 5 cm from the bottom of the bucket. Connecting the circulating system control line and power cable. Connect one end of the control line to the control port of the BT802. Tighten the screw and pass the other end from the bottom of the main device to the back side. Insert the ultrasonic power cable into the ultrasonic power port on the back of the BT802 and place the BT802 on the right front of the main device. Connecting cables. Connect the control line passing through the bottom of the main device and tighten the screws. Plug the output end of the power adapter into the power connector of the main device. Plug one end of the USB cable into the signal port. Plug the other end into the USB port of the computer. Connect the adapter power cable. Plug the power cable of the instrument and BT802 into the power socket, and turn on the power. Power on. Press on the power switch to turn on the particle size analyzer, and press on power switches to turn on the computer and the monitor. Installing operating software. First insert the USB flash drive into the USB port of the computer. Then open the USB flash drive by double-clicking it. Open the folder Better Size Laser Particle Analyzer System. Double-click Setup EXE to start the installation, and follow the instructions to finish the installation of the software. Installing the USB driver, right-click Computer, select Manage, and then Device Manager to find STM32 Virtual Com Port. Right-click Update Driver, select Browse My Computer for Drivers, then head back to the USB flash drive, and select the file named High Speed Driver 1.1 and click OK to complete the installation of the driver. Testing and viewing system status. Checking the hardware function of the instrument. Start the software and click the supply. Drainage. Rotating speed. USonic. R speed plus and R speed minus buttons to check whether they are working properly. If the above instrument's actions are the same as the status shown in the video, it means that the hardware system of the instrument works as normal. Follow the process for other dispersion units. Checking the status of the instrument Generally, the background value is between 0.3 to 4, the background signal is on the leftmost side of the coordinate, the length is less than 10 grids, and the graph is sloping shape decreasing gradually from left to right and stable. The I0 value is usually between 10,000 to 30,000. If the background value and I0 value are within the normal range, it indicates that the instrument is in good condition. Routine test steps. Select or create a new project. Click the Particle Size Test Manual button, fill in each blank in the document pop-up window, and click Parameter to set relevant parameters. Click Test again to enter the test window. Click the Supply icon to supply water. Add Dispersant. 
and then click the rotating speed and use sonic icons to remove air bubbles. The bubble removing method is, repeatedly stop and start the rotating speed, each time interval of 2 to 3 seconds, repeat 2 to 3 times, and click the confirm button to test the background. Sampling and adding samples. Mix samples well, add a small amount each time, and add multiple times. Stop adding samples until the obscuration OBS is between 10% to 15%. Test. The dispersion time is 1 to 3 minutes for general sample. During the dispersion, you can click the real-time button in the test area to see whether the test results are stable. If the test results are unstable, continue the dispersion until the results become stable, then the test data is valid. Click the start button in the test area. Then you can select the average value. Click the save button to save the average value of the test results. And the test ends. It usually tests two to three times to check the repeatability. Clean. After the test is completed, click the auto cleaning button. Clean the circulating tank and tubes to prepare for the next test. Automatic testing. Automatic test is a mode in which the system works according to a preset SOP. Click the particle size test automatic button. Enter the sample information in the document. Then set or select SOP. And open the test tab to enter the test window. Add dispersant to the circulating tank. And click the start button. The system will automatically supply water, remove bubbles, and measure background. Then add samples to the circulation tank. The system will automatically disperse. Automatically test. Automatically save. And automatically clean. Introduction of frequently used software functions. 1. On the record page, right-click to save the current results in other databases. And you can also perform other operations such as reanalysis or printing the current results. 2. On the result page, right-click to copy, convert current result page to PDF or export to Excel. 3. Click the comparison page to compare multiple results after selecting them on the record page. You can also copy or export the comparison results onto Excel by right-clicking the comparison page. 4. Daily care and maintenance. Cleaning the sample cell. After a period of use, the sample cell will be stained and needs to be cleaned regularly. It is very important to first click the drainage button to drain the water in the circulation tank. Then take out the sample cell assembly from the instrument and place it on the work table. Use an M3 Allen key to remove the two screws and take out the sample cell. Wet the sample cell brush with a drop of detergent by the sink. Hold the side of the sample cell. Brush the inside and outside of the sample cell. Then rinse the sample cell with clean water. Dry the outer surface of the sample cell with a tissue. And use the rubber bulb to blow off the paper residue that may be attached to the outer surface of the sample cell. Hold the side of the clean sample cell. Place the sample cell in the accessories and tighten the screws. Pay attention to the correct position of the seal ring, and do not touch the transparent side. Click the supply and rotating speed buttons to check whether the sample cell is leaking. Finally put the sample cell window unit back into the main device. Clean the water level gauge and circulation tank. The stain of the water level gauge will result in the inability to automatically supply water, and the stain of the circulation tank wall will affect the test results. Therefore, the water level gauge and the sidewall of the circulation tank must be cleaned frequently, usually once a month, and the cleaning cycle for special samples should be shortened.
Use a sponge brush to avoid scratching the surface of the water level gauge when cleaning it. The circulation system needs to be stopped when cleaning the sidewall of the circulation tank. After cleaning, click the auto cleaning button in the software to rinse the water level gauge in the circulation tank. Please contact your sales representative for more operation videos on different dispersion units.